There's some people when they walk in the room, boom, you automatically respect them because they've got a presence. They may smile, they may be very good in terms of communication, but they are the person that people are going to gravitate towards. But what happens? What happens if you're an introvert or quiet or a little bit shy? Does this mean that you can't command respect when you enter a room or you talk to somebody? The answer is hell no. And today I'm going to show you how. And the beautiful thing about what I'm going to go over, gentlemen, is that you have 100% control over all of these things, which means means if you're somebody that wants to be respected more, you can do it. But it starts with you looking respectable. One of the things that will automatically set you apart from other people is if your style, if your presentation, your personal packaging is on point. Level up, gentlemen. It's all about dressing one level above what everybody else is in the room, all right? What I'm talking about, if everybody is there, all the other dudes are in boring ass basic business casual, you're taking it next level with a sexy ass tailored suit that fits you properly. Maybe not wear a tie though, yeah? Exactly. You, you see that? Be the best dressed guy in the room. Number two is don't look nervous, all right? Now, we're gonna talk about body language in a second, but what I'm talking about right now is sweat rings. One of the things that makes men look insecure is actually when they're rocking a bunch of sweat rings, right? Not only is it embarrassing, it makes you look like you stink. So what I recommend, guys, is go with a high quality natural deodorant that's going to help you sweat less and smell amazing. Guys, if you're looking for a deodorant that doesn't have all the other toxic shit that's in 99.9% .9 of other deodorants, you gotta hit that link down below and check out the Bean Pedro Super Fresh. This deodorant is the best deodorant on the market. It's aluminum free, paraffin free, sulfite free, baking soda free. Basically, it's free from all the toxic shit that all the other deodorants have. And the scent is unbelievable. We call it super fresh because that's what it is. It's spearmint eucalyptus. It's mild though. It's not overpowering, which means you can actually smell like your fragrance as opposed to your deodorant. As this deodorant, I'm so incredibly proud of. It took two years to develop 57 different formulations. This is the best deodorant on the market. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Hit the link down below. There's also gonna be a discount code. Go read the reviews. Everybody loves super fresh. But if you're somebody that really suffers like extreme sweating, you could, invest in something like this. This is called a Thompson T, all right? It's an undershirt that actually has like sewn in, like built in like sweat barriers into the armpits, all right? These things work incredibly well. Something else though we gotta talk about is your ass. Swamp ass, yeah, that streak of sweat that runs up your butt crack, gentlemen. Once again, that is a deal breaker in terms of respect. Quick, easy way to solve that, guys, is take a high quality non-talc based powder, right? In the morning, whoop, right up the booty crack. Also, get your balls because you don't want sweaty, stinky, balls. Guys, the Bean Pedro powder is a talc-free powder that is better than chassis. It smells better. It's more affordable. Chassis gives you four ounces. We give you five and it works better. It doesn't overly dry you like chassis. It's a hot meaty mess down your pants, right? And if you're not using a talc-based powder every single day, your balls stink because it's hot. It's dark. It sweats. Dark, sweaty areas, right? Bacteria forms causing the odor and you having musky nuts and your ass cheeks. My God, are you kidding me? It's a disaster back there. A little bit of this, up your booty crack, a little bit of this, all over Big Al and the boys every single day. If you wanna check this out, guys, we got three options. We got fresh, we got frost, and we've got unscented. Sweat and odor come across as weakness when it comes to your personal presentation and packaging, which is why, guys, I'm gonna link to both of these down below. Hit the link, use the discount code. These are gonna not only help keep you smelling amazing, they're gonna keep you dry and smelling amazing. Something else that makes you look weak is a lack of eye contact, all right? Now, eye contact is one of the biggest communicating tools that you have. You gotta make sure that you're locking and loading for three to five seconds, and then, instead of breaking gaze and looking down, which looks weak, break gaze to the side and back. It's a difference that's going to make you appear more confident and make you command respect. The next thing that's gonna help you command respect if you're shy is put your damn phone away. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're in an uncomfortable position or situation is they use their phone as almost like a security blanket. They look it, they keep their attention here. And what happens is it makes you look weak. It also makes you look like you're not interested in engaging. Besides, if your phone's in your hand, you're not gonna give as good of a handshake. You need both of them for the handshake I'm gonna tell you to do. It's critical that you master an incredible handshake. I'm not talking a good, I'm talking world-renowned, amazing handshake, all right? The way that you're gonna do that is to practice with a friend, your mom, your dad, your weird Uncle Barry. 
<laughs> Maybe not Barry, because I know where those hands have been. <laughs> exactly. You got to practice, gentlemen. That's the beautiful thing with handshakes, all right? Practice. Practice meeting web to web. Practice when you hit to squeeze firm, not aggressive, not try and crush their hand, but don't get owned. It's about timing when it comes to handshakes. And the reason why you need both hands is because when you go in, I want you to touch on top with the other hand or the shoulder, which brings me to another tip that you can use to look super confident and command respect. Use touch to your advantage. Research has shown that when you touch or are touched by somebody in a non-sexy, creepy way, it automatically makes you be viewed as more confident, more respectable, and more attractive. All are amazing. The next trick that you can use if you're shy to be more confident and command respect is to actually give somebody a compliment. You gotta be comfortable using your words, right? If you're a mute, if you're never talking, unfortunately, this is never going to be viewed as confident, right? But giving somebody a compliment, this is an amazing tool and a trick to be viewed as more engaging, to be viewed as more attractive, but also to be viewed as more respectable. When somebody gives us a compliment, we automatically, A, like them more, but we, B, respect them a little bit more because if they like us, if they complimented us, they must be a solid dude. Next trick to command respect, even if you're quiet, speak up when it matters. And what I mean by this is if there's something or a conversation where something's going on, you've got to be confident enough to speak up when the time is right. And what happens is even if you're quiet, people are going to notice more when you actually speak because the majority of people are just running that mouth, right? They're uncomfortable with silence. But when you're a quiet individual and you're not just running that mouth and talking, people notice in a subconscious way. So when you do speak up, when you do talk, people are actually going to tune in and listen more. The next tip to command respect even if you're quiet, is don't be negative and don't gossip, all right? When somebody is talking to you and you come across as negative or you're saying things that aren't super positive, it automatically is a huge turnoff. And if you're gossiping, automatically they're not gonna trust you. And the last tip comes a little bit easier to you than a lot of people, and that is don't be reactive, right? Don't be overly emotional when things happen. If you are somebody that is calm, cool, collected, that thinks through a situation as opposed to just getting crazy, as opposed to somebody that just like, reacts or yells or fights or whatever, right? You are going to be viewed as the calm, cool, collected one that is more measured. And once again, it comes down to other people's perception. If you're viewed as somebody who thinks through things before they actually speak or talk, it's automatically going to make other people respect what you have to say a bit more. Respect is not guaranteed or automatically given just because you're awesome and drop one of these on the video. It's earned through your consistent actions. And the good news, if you do the things we talked about in this video, you will be able to earn respect even if you're shy.